Purata was once uh, the biggest uh, Bedayu Kampung village in in Bau and Lundu district. Uh, from history historians and from uh, the elders, about 750 years ago, uh, a group of people from Sungkong, which is now in Kalimantan Barat, lah, uh, came here to settle a Bung Prata, uh, to do farming uh, downhills there, and to do fishing, to hunt for wild animals, for the meat. Uh, that was well, about 750 to 800 years ago. Uh, that was Bung Prata. Lah. So, it was raided in 1837, I think. And then uh, revived again under Panglima Kulau in uh, 1838. Uh, after he met the James Brooke, the first Raja of Sarawak in 1841, uh, he brought back those who were captured by the enemies. Lah. Uh, so from 1841 onwards, Bung Bratak that we know now uh, was revived, a new kampong was set up after 1841. So, but by, 80, by 1900, people from here uh, started to move down to the downhills, uh, especially after, 80, uh, after 19, uh, 1950. Uh, that was many, many years ago. By 1950, more and more people from Bung Brata moved to places like Kampung Selampit in Lunduk district and Kampung Sirikin, which is in Bauk district. There are now 35 Kampung villages, Bedayuh villages, uh, originating from Bung Brata. Uh, these 35 Kampong are the one who set up this association, Bung Pratak Heritage Association, uh, of which I'm the chairman. Lah. And we are the one who are the custodian and the guardian of Bung Pratak. Okay, on Bung Pratak Center that you see here, the, the two long houses and the baruk that we have, the roundhouse, the kitchen, the reception hall. Uh, the construction, the completion of this Bung Pratak Heritage Center uh, uh, was financed by the Ministry of Tourism Kuala Lumpur for 8 million and the state government gave us to construct the mountain road and also to do the furnishing everything for about 2 million so all together about 10 million federal government and state government helping us on this Bung Bratak Heritage Center. Now, uh, this Heritage Center is was set up for two big reasons. Reason number one is to remember our ancestors who lived here 750 years ago, and also to, to take advantage of this place as an eco-tourism center. Uh, so that we can open to public to go and enjoy the, uh, the forest, the, 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 the flora and fauna here, and now we have the waterfall. And, and we, we want to do what they call, after all we have finance 100% by the government, so we, we, we want this place to be enjoyed by everybody, lah, particularly those who are health conscious. Uh, they can walk up here for half an hour from the downhill. They can park in our parking area down there. They walk up here, get the exercise. They can stay here weekend, sun, uh, by Friday evening, by Saturday and Sunday. People, people can do camping. Camping is the popular, the, the in thing now. But people in Kuching, you know. And we are happy. Lah. We, we, we charge very minimal, 10 ringgit on there for entry. Uh, and we try to be as affordable as possible. Uh, we operate on a very minimum staff so that we don't have a high what they call overhead. And our staff are trained to be as friendly as possible to everybody here. Now on the future, uh, what a uh, new attraction for Boom Brata, uh, we are going to search for one more waterfall, which is about half an hour, a bit longer than this one, this existing one. 
the one uh, they say is bigger waterfall and higher uh, more beautiful but i will get the kampung people to help us to, to go there and uh, make it a tourist spot lah and then so that you walk through the forest you enjoy the forest uh, apa nama uh, nature lah before you reach the new waterfall that is one number two we are going to we are two third way up to the very top there is still you have to go up the top for another 15 minutes uh, there is a, like a padang up there we want to develop it so that people can do camping there so that people can see better scenery like it from the very top uh, that is uh, we are getting help from forest department to do the the, the steps you know? but we have to put uh, water tank there we have to put a barbecue center there you know on the very top of Bung Prata so that well that will be uh, an attraction to both local and foreign tourists uh, the other thing is uh, space is very limited uh, because all uh, this is the only place that we can build this thing uh, we try to get a space one day we want to have what they call a handicraft center here uh, so that you can see demo of people making mats, making uh, things with rotan lah, and then basket and all that. And uh, one attraction to the tourists. And of course, now we are going to do a, a stage here so that we have traditional uh, cultural performance and all that uh, to, to, for the tourists, lah, for day trippers and tourists. So that much I can say of the history of Bung Prata uh, briefly and about Bung Prata Heritage Center and future uh, panama our development at Bung Prata. But I just want to say we, we intend to make Bung Prata probably one of the best uh, mountain top or hill top uh, tourist, uh, tourist center you know, in Sarawak. And because now people after COVID, uh, they want to climb up, uh, improve their health, got fresh fresh air in mountain air and fresh water and just want to feel free. Uh, terima kasih banyak-banyak. Thank you. Welcome to Tasebiru.